In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can resolve error 4 with our dedicated plugin libraries. Error 4 is triggered because the plugin cannot locate the samples folder within your library directory. This can also occur if you've repaired the library in the wrong location, which would have just replaced the patches and presets and not your samples folder. For this reason, I'd always recommend starting off troubleshooting this by looking at your folder directory to see if the samples folder is present. For libraries in our original series, you can click on the library folder where you'll see we've got patches, presets and samples within here. If the samples folder isn't present, this is because it's somewhere else on your system or it doesn't exist and you can fix this by resetting the library and re-downloading. For libraries such as BBCSO, which have different parts of the library within the sample folder, you'll see that we have different folders for each section. If one of these sections is missing, you can just reset the specific section and then re-download it into the BBCSO folder. Finally, for libraries such as Labs and Abbey Road 1, where there's multiple libraries within a single plugin, you can click on the library folder where you'll see we have patches, presets and samples and this is the plugin where I've triggered error 4. You can see that I have the patches and presets for Amplified Cello Quartet, Arctic Swells, Auto Harp and Chirango. However if we look at the samples folder here you'll see that the Chirango folder is missing which is why I've triggered error 4. To re-download a library in the Spitfire Audio app I'll need to navigate to the Labs page to begin with then click on the artwork for the library that you need to install. Click on the cog menu and then select reset. Select entire library. Now the install button should be available. Select it and then double check that the file path you're installing to is the correct path that contains your labs library. You can set this manually by clicking on the folder icon and then navigating to the location on your system where the library resides. Alternatively, if you go over to the settings, select default content path. Here you can select the search bar again to set the path. I've installed the library on my external hard drive here and you'll see that I have a separate folder for my Spitfire Audio libraries. So this is the folder that I should select as the default installation path. If I had the libraries in this view, I would select the hard drive as the installation path. So once I've clicked on the folder, I can select open and now the default content path is set. When we go to install the library, it will automatically install to the default content path. If you've run out of resets for a library, you'll need to contact our support team at www.spitfileaudio.com forward slash support. The link is in the description below. Now that the new library is installed, we need to quit and restart our DAW so that the plugin can rescan the new library we've installed. And now that I'm inside a new project for my DAW, I can select the lab's instrument, create a new track, and you'll now see that there's no more error in the lab's plugin, and I can now select the Chirango and play the sample. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.